75 years ago, our nation made a promise that if a person worked hard and contributed to a little fund, America would make sure you could retire in dignity. I repeat, that promise is called Social Security. I believe it's the most successful social program in the history of the world. And this promise that we made 75 years ago that allowed my grandmother in Searchlight to be independent remains that way. That's a promise we made and a promise we need to keep, right? <laughs> For nearly every Nevadan, 65 and older, they rely on Social Security. Many of them, it's their only source of income. And it's the way it is around the country. For half of them, it's the only money that keeps them out of poverty. But I have to say that the Republicans don't seem to care. And that's just not me saying this. Look at their own proposals. Look at HR1. What they do there is they cut the money to allow Social Security to be funded properly so that they can administer the programs that they need. HR1 really hurts Social Security. So, Social Security doesn't allow its recipients to get rich. Social Security only allows people to make it, to make it in life, and sometimes just barely. What irritates me is we hear pundits and politicians take the bait that's been thrown to them by these uh, Republicans over the last few decades. You throw it to them and they grab it. They grab it and claim, Social Security is headed for bankruptcy. It is not, everybody. <laughs> it's not just an exaggeration that Social Security is headed for bankruptcy. It is an outright lie. In Nevada, more than any other state, Wall Street gambled with our money, and Wall Street won, and we lost. And Families lost $17 trillion in savings. Not billion, that's trillion. But not one. Even those who lost their jobs or lost their homes or their savings lost a cent of their Social Security, not a penny. The reason is we were able to defeat the ridiculous idea to privatize Social Security. And now what we're saying is, Leave Social Security alone. Back off Social Security. It hasn't contributed a penny, I repeat, to the deficit. And it's in great shape for the next many decades.